channel or hello if you're new. Today is going to be another fitness related video for you guys which you guys have been seeming to love lately and I'm going to be sharing with you guys my weight loss life hacks that work for me and that I enjoy and I wanted to share it with you guys. I will leave my fitness playlist in the description box down below for you guys so if you want to see more videos on fitness related things whether that's at home workouts, my fitness routine, all that good stuff. I have so many other tips and tricks that you guys can find in those videos so make sure you guys go do that. But thumbs up if you maybe want a part two or if you want more fitness related videos and tell me what you guys want to see in the comments down below. But before I begin there's this thing I've been doing on my Instagram where if you go over right now to my Instagram tell me you're coming from this video and follow me. I will go spam your account as long as you're not private because I can't spam you if you're private. So make sure you're not private and then you can put it back onto private once I creep you and I'll, I'll tell you how beautiful you guys are. All my links to my social media, Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter are always in the description box for you guys. So if you want to contact me, definitely go there because I'm always active. But that being said, let's just jump into the hack. The first thing I'm going to be talking to you guys about is this digital body analyzer that I received from Vanity Planet. I wanted to share it with you guys because I absolutely love it. I say in pretty much all my videos, do not weigh yourself, do not focus on the number because that can be discouraging and a number doesn't really tell you anything. But I thought I would share with you guys this scale because this scale is so much better than those typical scales that you see everywhere. The reason why is because it tells you your body fat percentage, your bone density percentage, your muscle mass percentage and also your your body water so it's really gonna give you a more accurate understanding of where you're at in your own healthy and fitness lifestyle a lot of the times when I used to go to the gym I would build muscle and I would increase in my weight and that would be really discouraging so that's why I completely cut out the scale because I, I didn't want to focus and fixate on that number because it's just not healthy for you you're not gonna get discouraged by seeing that number go up because you're gonna be able to tell if your fat percentage is going down if your muscle is percentage is going up so it's really not demotivating and as well as something that I like to do guys is I don't like to weigh myself every single day every single week I just think that's a little too much and people get too stuck on the numbers and I think it's not very healthy so if you do want to see progress you do want to weigh yourself once in a while to see where you're at and see if you are making progress I suggest going on the scale every other week all you have to do is you set it so that either you're female or male you set your height you set your age and it's gonna tell you your weight and it's also gonna tell you all those other four components another thing I love about the scale as well as if you're stuck at a certain place you can really tell where you have to pinpoint to change your fitness routine or your health routine to get the results that you do want to get it does give you a lot of information and you can play around with that and you could switch up your fitness routine your health routine all that good stuff and guys vanity planet was nice enough where if you go in my description box you click the link you can get the body analyzer for 60% off and get it for only $50 which is such a steal so if you do want something or you're looking into something like that definitely go get it now because it is 60% off for you guys and who doesn't like a good bargain because I know your girl loves a good bargain. <laughs> Next I'm going to be talking about cleaning up our diet. Not necessarily going on a diet and starving yourself. That's not what I mean because those things never work and I always tell you guys. But starting to cut out junk food such as takeout, eating at Taco Bell, McDonald's, Burger King, all of that we know is not good for us. So completely cutting out fast food is super good and switching to whole foods is really going to make a difference in your health. The way that we eat and diet is the most important thing. I believe it's 80 or 70% diet and then 20 or 30% working out. So cleaning up your diet and switching out the fast food for whole foods is really going to make a difference and as well as adding a lot of veggies and adding also fruits into all your meals is super good to do and is really going to help make a difference in your diet. Another hack I have for you guys is don't eat anything four hours before you go to sleep. If you think about it, if you eat right before you go to sleep, your body doesn't have enough time to burn it off so it's going to turn into fat. So my next hack is to have a shot of apple cider vinegar to add that to your weight loss journey because apple cider vinegar is super good. It not only provides you nutrition, but it also hydrates you. It also keeps your blood sugar levels stable. All I tend to do is I'll have a one shot of apple cider vinegar and I'll put it into a glass and then I'll fill it up with some water so it kind of dilutes it. It's just easier to take down and it also is said to be super good for your metabolism. Another hack I have for you guys is to eat a spoonful of coconut oil. So coconut oil has actually been said to suppress your appetite. It is full of fatty acids that make you feel like you're full. This but next hack is a popular little mix to lead to weight loss and that is to boil some 
warm water, then add one tablespoon of cinnamon and one tablespoon of honey. You're going to mix that all together. It's kind of like you're making your own little tea, but this is actually said to be super good because cinnamon is super good because it's so rich in fiber and we need that fiber every single day. So it also helps kickstart your weight loss journey. So I tend to have this every single morning as well, or I'll have it within the day. This next hack is to eat an orange before you work out. It not only hydrates you, but it also prevents you from having any sore muscles after a workout. Next, I'm going to move on to working out. Working out, you should be trying to do and add it into your diet. It's super healthy for you physically and also mentally, and it's become part of my routine. I absolutely love working out. And once you do it a while, it will become part of yours. You should actually be working out or trying to work out at least every single morning. Working out in the morning, I would say, is the best because it helps give you a kickstart to your metabolism, and it also does add consistency to your day. So in order to do this, a hack I have for you guys is to put two alarms. This is something I like to do. First alarm to give you a little notice that you have to wake up in 15 minutes. So I like to sometimes just stay in bed look around, wake up, become awake, and then that second alarm, I get right out of bed and I know it's time to go. You guys, is when you are gonna work out right in the morning, another little psychological hack there is, is to pop a peppermint into your mouth before you work out because peppermint has been said to increase alertness. Through psychological studies, red has been shown to be a color that leads to increase of excitement level, energy level, and circulation. So if you're gonna go work out, I suggest putting red in another- <laughs> I'm gonna be showing you guys some morning workouts that you can do right from your home if you can't go to the gym. And like always, you should always stretch before any workout, whether that's in the morning, in the evening. It's just super good to stretch right before you work out. It's gonna avoid any pulling of the muscles and things like that. So I'm just showing you some simple stretches that I personally like to do. Right now, I'm just doing the ankle roll. And then one of my favorites is doing this. When I used to coach gymnastics, I used to call this the seal to my little kids and then you have to lean all the way back and then I would call that cat stretch. Now you guys know what I used to say when I was a gymnastics coach, but I like to call it seal stretch and then go into cat stretch. I don't know, I know it's like weird, but that's my thing. So once you're done stretching, we're gonna move on to the easy at home workouts that don't take a lot of time, but they are super good for a full body workout. This first exercise that I'm going to be showing you guys is called a power push-up and this is super good for working the chest, the arms, the abs, the legs, everything. So you're going to start kind of in this bent V position and then you're just going to lean forward and go into a push-up and then bring it back and forth. I like to do this for about a minute or even do four sets of 15, but this is super good for many parts of your body and it really does give you a good burn. This next exercise is called the sumo squat to side crunch and it's amazing because it not only works out your butt, your hips, your legs, but it also slims down your waist at the same time. So you're just going to get into a squatting position and then you're going to kind of do a side crunch and you could do this once again for a minute each or you can also do it for four sets of 15, but this is just really good because it works out more than just your legs, it adds in the abs as well, which I really do enjoy. This next exercise is probably one of my favorites and it's the lying knee twist. And it not only stretches out your lower back, but it also helps your abdominals at the same time. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna lean side to side, which is gonna help your obliques. And I do this actually two different ways. The first way is I go from right to left, but then I stretch my legs all the way and I extend them to the middle. Or if you don't wanna do that, you can do the exact same thing, except you're gonna tuck your knees when you get to that middle part. So you're gonna go to the right, the left, and then you're gonna tuck those knees in and you're just gonna feel such a burn. And I really enjoy doing this exercise, especially for the abdominals. So I definitely recommend it if that's something that you wanna work on is your stomach region. This is definitely a good exercise to incorporate into your workout routine. This next one I really enjoy. I like to call it the bicycle. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna move your legs like you're riding a bicycle, but you're not gonna be doing the crunches. I just like to stay in this position and pretend like I'm riding a bicycle and I do this for like a minute straight or for a song or for a length of a song and I really do enjoy it. Now this exercise, you can feel such a burn in your legs and it's leg rises. So you're just gonna lift up your legs and you're not gonna touch the ground all the way. And then you're gonna do little circles and you're just gonna feel the burn. So once again, I say just do this for a minute straight or if you do wanna do sets, you can. 
hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you incorporate it into your fitness journey and your healthy lifestyle because I'd love to know. But I really hope this was helpful. I will leave all my other videos in the description box for you guys. So go check that out if you want more hacks, more tips, more motivation, all that good stuff. I even have a lazy routine if you are really trying to work out but you just don't like it. I have one for you guys. So go check that out. But that being said, a thumbs up if you want more. Click that subscribe button down below to join the Nicolette's Fam Jam because your girl uploads every other day here on my channel. And as well as, I hope you guys are having a fabulous day, evening, or night whenever you're watching this. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!